Time now for the Dallas Truck World Sports Desk. Last year during the bye week, the Cowboys traded for Amari Cooper. Turned out to be an epic move. This year during the bye, Dallas is hoping for similar results, trading for three-time pro bowler Michael Bennett. Some good news for the Cowboys today. Amari Cooper, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Lyle Collins, and Byron Jones all practice today. The initial reaction out here from the Ford Center is that the Cowboys made the right hire, naming Mike McCarthy as the new head football coach of the Dallas Cowboys. 24 hours later, Doug, the heartache, the pain just as intense. The Mavericks are devastated by the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. Well, Ken, you're certainly right. There's a cloud of mystery surrounding this entire situation. Less than two months into his second season as head coach, the Dallas Stars have fired Jim Montgomery, leaving plenty of questions and not nearly enough answers. Baby shark to do 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 baby shark to do Yeah, now that's going to be stuck in my head. I know. How am I going to get through this? I'm going to do my best to talk some college football, Brooke, but gosh, Lee, baby shark is all in my head. <laughs> but let's go ahead and check in with Desmond Purnell with the details of this massive new contract. A whole lot of dough, Desmond. <laughs> a whole lot of dough and a whole lot of buzz in this building today. Zeke Elliott, he's the pulse, the heartbeat of this Cowboys offense. And now that he's secured the bag, gotten that contract extension, Zeke says he's ready to make up for lost time. The Mavericks or the Rockets? Which Texas team has the brightest star? It's like picking between Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. You got mixed feelings. <laughs> We're here at the Cotton Bowl, a place that's been home to the Dallas Cowboys, the Red River rivalry, and now the 2020 Winter Classic. This iconic Iconic Stadium has been transformed into an outdoor hockey rink. This event, easily the NHL's biggest regular season stage, and the Dallas Stars are ready to put on a show. The Cowboys have now lost seven out of their last ten games, and for the first time this season, their overall record is below 500. And no one is more upset about that than Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. Some of that frustration was on display today during its weekly radio appearance. Are you embarrassed as an organization about how the team is hey, playing? Get your damn act together. Yourself. Okay? I don't want to get a tweet. I don't want to get a complaint <laughs> about how the Cowboys are playing. They have yet to defeat a team with a winning record. Looks like that trend just may continue today. Will the real Dallas Cowboys please stand up? First three weeks of the season, Cowboys looked invincible. Last week against New Orleans, not so much. Boys win. What do you think, Desmond? <sighs> Before I answer that question, I need to address social media real quick, Bill. I am not a Cowboy hater. I am not anti-Cowboys. I talk about the facts. Okay. Hashtag okay. facts. Now let me ask, okay. how, how many times have you picked the Cowboys to win this season? I have not picked the Cowboys very often because they have yet to beat a winning team. That is a fact. That is not me being a hater. They played three road games this year, guys. They've lost two of them. Okay? Get your popcorn ready, your gumdrops, your jujubes. Get it all ready because it's going to be a show out at the Cotton Bowl tomorrow.